Hi, I'm Caleb, and I'm a digital marketer. Welcome to the SendPulse YouTube channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay up to date with our channel and our future videos. We've got lots of interesting stuff planned for you. Today, we're going to talk about chatbots. Put simply, a chatbot is a piece of software or program that allows you to communicate with your subscribers via messengers. Popular messengers include WhatsApp, Telegram, and of course, Facebook Messenger. This software will allow you to delegate menial tasks and save time so you can focus on growing your business. Chatbots operate based on predefined scenarios responding to people's inquiries just like a person. If someone asks a question about your product, your chatbot will give them that information just as if they were talking to a salesperson on the phone. This is naturally very useful for customer support as well as your sales team and we'll talk about how they can be useful internally. As you learn more about chatbots, you can also use much more advanced functions with simple integrations and API. This will allow you to send order updates, shipping information, and more personalized messages as you continue to learn more about chatbots and use them in your marketing strategy. So let's take a look at what chatbots can really do for you. As I said, they allow you to delegate menial tasks. This can be both internal and external. Internal chatbots can be used to send news and updates to your employees, as well as schedule meetings. They can also be used for HR and are a great way to send links. Today, we'll be primarily focused on client-facing or external chatbots. The major benefit of chatbots is their efficiency. They don't get tired and are available 24-7. This means you don't have to pay someone to sit and answer a few chat messages overnight if a chatbot can help you with your customer support or sales needs. Likewise, chatbots are great for filtering your audience. Imagine that your company is looking to hire a new employee. Your chatbot can ask candidates questions to weed out anyone who is not a good fit for your company. Let's talk more specifically about how chatbots work. You should think of a chatbot like a tree with many branches. As a user moves through your chatbot, they will go from branch to branch. This is done with your chatbot's script, not a technical script, but the actual messages that your chatbot will use to communicate with your clients. An excellent way to design this is using a mind mapping software like Coggle or good old fashioned pen and paper. You can design simple flows for your chatbot users to make them the most effective, visually seeing the string of logic that you will use to communicate with your customers from message to message will help you understand the overall effectiveness of your chatbot. Naturally, this means that each message should be tied to the previous one. If your chatbot does customer support and a client asks a question, the answer needs to relate to the question that they asked. Likewise, you might have a flow for customer support, another for warm leads, and another for returning customers. But before you get overwhelmed, it's better to have one good flow than several unclear or inaccurate flows. So start small and continue to grow as your business grows. Another really important thing to keep in mind is that you need to work with your team when you're designing your chatbot script. Your sales and support teams have lots of information about your customers that will come in handy when you design your chatbot script to make sure that every message is as effective and useful as possible. So, as I mentioned, it's better to start small. You want to find a chatbot platform like SendPulse that will allow you to create your chatbot flow with a drag and drop editor. This is very easy and requires no technical experience. Anyone can design a chatbot with SendPulse in just a few minutes. After you have designed your chatbot, there is nothing more important than this next step. Test, test, test. Chatbots have lots of content and have a way of getting confusing. So make sure you test your chatbot thoroughly, send it to your colleagues to test, and are really confident that everything is ready to go before it goes on a client-facing site. After using your chatbot for a while, it's important that you stay up to date with your metrics. Notice where in the flow users stop using your chatbot or what buttons are the most popular. This will allow you to continue updating your chatbot to be as useful as possible. 
Your goal is to make your life and your client's life easier after all. So consider using SendPulse to design your first chatbot and get started for absolutely free. Thanks again for watching this video on the SendPulse YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon to stay updated with our future content. Also, don't be afraid to ask questions in the comments or give us suggestions for content that you want to see. Thanks for watching.